Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Golden Bookshelf. Today we are going to be reading Silly Goose's Big Story. My grandma gave this book to me. Goose, Goose made up great stories. His friends would always beg him. Tell us a story, Goose. One day, Goose said, Once upon a time, there was a friend. Fierce pirate. Soon they were sailing the seven seas together, looking for treasures, and Goose was the captain. Another day, Goose said, Another day, Goose said, Once upon a time, there were scary dinosaurs. Soon they were ro roaming the earth together, hunting and growling, and naturally, uh, and naturally, Goose was the T Rex, scariest of all. Then another day, Goose said, Once upon a time, there was a mighty king. Soon they were marching uh, through towns and hills together, conquering the world. And who got to play the king, the mightiest of all? White Goose, of course. He's kind of rude. Wait a minute, Goose, said Beaver. You always play the hero. Why can't... We take turns. Yes, yeah, said Porcupine. I'd like to be the hero sometime. Me too, said Squirrel. No way, said Goose. I always play the hero. Come on, keep on marching. Goose is being a really annoying dog right now. That's selfish, said his friends. But Goose wouldn't give in. They are my... Story, so I'm the hero, he insisted. They were so busy arguing, they didn't notice that someone was listening. Out the wolf. Suddenly, a big wolf shouted, Hello, lunch! They all screamed and ran, but poor Goose tripped on his royal cape, Wolf scooped him up in an instant. <laughs> so, you're like the hero, huh? Wolf chucked. More like a hero sandwich to me. Goose was in big trouble. He had to think fast. Finally, he had an idea. Mr. Wolf, said Goose. I'm glad I, I'm glad I found you. You're a great danger. Is that so? Wolf left. How? Well, I'll tell you. Goose began the biggest story he had ever told. Once upon a time there was there were thousands of happy wolves living on a mountain. Uh-huh, said Wolf. One day um, what's his name? Oh, yeah. Wem showed up, said Goose. Wem? Who's that? Oh, Wem is sort of wolf eating monster. Goose continued. He used to wander around saying, Yum, 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 I smell a wolf. And when he found one, 
He plopped it into his mouth like a peanut. You're lying, said Wolf, but he looked worried. It's true, Mr. Wolf, said Goose. Do you see thousands of wolves here? And this worst part, Ben is back. At that just moment. The tree started to shake. And they heard a loud footsteps in the distance. What's that? said Wolf. Soon spikes of hair appeared above the treetops. It couldn't be, said Wolf. Yum, yum, yum. I smell a wolf. It's Wem, cried Wolf. He, he dropped juice like a hot potato and took off running. He never looked back. Whew! Goose was relieved, but... Not for long, something big was coming his way. It was getting closer and closer. Then from behind the trees came his furious looking friends. Yum, yum, yum. I smell a wolf. They were still growling together. Goose, shouted with relief. Oh, you guys, you're web. Yup, I shook the trees, said Squirrel. The footsteps were making me slap in my tail, said Beaver. And I was Wem's hair, said Pork Porkpine. Hey, you know what, Beaver shouted. Suddenly, we, we finally got to play the heroes. Play the heroes, cried Goose. You are the heroes. You saved me. Tell us another story, Goose. The friends begged as they walked home. Okay, I've got another good one, said Goose. Once upon a time, there was a silly goose who had three greatest friends in the world. So, this book is a really good book. Have you ever had a friend that wasn't really fair, but you two were... Friends and your parents are friends. There is no way to stop being friends. So that kind of relates to the story. Think about it. I'll see you next time on Golden Bookshelf.